all right then uh, welcome back everyone that's all this question forbidden integer so let me read out the question for you you are given an integer n which you want to obtain okay this we want to obtain you have unlimited supply of every integer from 1 to k so you have unlimited supply of integers in this range except an integer x so minus x okay and this x is actually less than equals to k fine so you want to make integer n and you have unlimited supply of uh, integers from 1 to k except the integer x okay so this integer is forbidden that is the question forbidden integer you are allowed to take an arbitrary amount of each of these integers possibly zero so you don't have to take like every integer in 1 to k maybe you don't take it you just take some number of so and that that is also not the case that you can pick an element one number one time you can take arbitrary amount right you can take arbitrary amount that's what they are saying right you can take arbitrary amount of each of these integers and possibly zero can you make sum of taken integers equal to n so the question is simple you have n you have n and you have integers in range 1 to k but x 1 to k but x now pick uh, integers from this range pick integers from this range uh, such that some of them uh, the sum of uh, all the elements become n and you can pick an integer more than one number of time right so you are allowed to take arbitrary amount of each of these integers so in this range 1 to k except x uh, pick arbitrary number of uh, integers pick arbitrary number of integers so one integer can be multiple number of times and try to make this n okay so can you make the sum of taken integers equal to n if there are multiple answers print any of them so basically we have to print the answer as well here okay cool so let's just say what is input here input is nothing they are just given three things n uh, the number that we have to obtain k in this part the range the upper bound on the range 1 to k and x the integer which is forbidden so that's what they have given they have just given three things and for each test case print yes if it is possible or no otherwise and if it is possible you have to print right so know whether you cannot make an arbitrary amount of integer right you can you can know okay print yes or no but if you print yes you have to print the actual uh, elements that you took for example here you can see what they have said is if you can the second line should contain the single integer m the total amount of integers taken integers okay so how many integers you actually took third line should contain m integers each of them 1 to k not equals to x and their sum is n okay and yeah that's that so that's the question here so okay so looking at this question uh, it might seem like of course you can easily guess it by now if you are watching this video you can anyway uh, guess it that this is a question based on number theory but it's not that difficult if you really um, make some observations here so uh, let me just take an uh, example and explain you how this is gonna work so they have taken an example here i'm just gonna take the code forces example only so they have taken an example where n is 10 they wanted to make a number 10 and uh, k was 3 so you can pick any numbers from 1 to 3 and uh, x was 2 right because nk and x was given right nk and x yeah so you can pick any numbers in this range 1 2 3 minus 2 arbitrary number of times and um, yeah so is it possible is it possible to make this it's actually possible right you can just pick 3 3 3 so it becomes 9 and 1 so basically we want to obtain this n right we want to obtain this n from this range from this range we want to obtain n so that's what this question is basically asking can you obtain it if yes just give it so yeah of course the answer would be yes the answer would be yes followed by how many integers did you took you took uh, you took actually uh, four of them right so four for yes for four and this three 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 one okay so that's what you have to do and let's take an example where it is uh, never possible let's just uh, say 5 2 and 1 so basically the range is 1 to 2 minus 1 right so is it possible this is what i want to make n equals to 5 is it possible let's see so n is odd here and you are taking away in this range there was one odd and one even and from this end you are taking a odd number so just you are just left with 2 you are just left with 2 with 2 you can never make 5 right with an even number you cannot make a odd number with 2 you can make any even number but you can definitely not make a odd number so anyway in this in this case answer would be no so i guess the question is clear uh, i hope you got the question now let's try to think how will you approach this question how will you approach this question okay so we are just given three things n k and x n k and x and we have to find out whether using the uh, whether using the numbers in this range 1 to k minus x 1 to k minus x can you make any that's what you ask okay now think about what is the simplest way to make n what is the simplest way to make n uh, because uh, this k lies from uh, 1 till n right so k is greater than equals to 1 less than equals to n 
What is the simplest way to make a number in? Just take n ones, right? Right. Uh, if you have n ones, then yeah, and they have not told that we have to minimize the number of elements or something like that, right? They have not. Uh, we don't have to actually minimize the amount of taken integers. We can take any number of integers. So what I'm saying is, let's say you have to make ten. You have to make ten. What is the simplest way to make ten? Just pick ten times one, right? Just pick ten times one. This is the simplest way to make ten, right? Okay, so <laughs> that is one observation. So what is the observation that we made here? If one is not forbidden, that is, if k is k, if x is not equals to one, if x is not equals to one, that is, one is not forbidden. One is not forbidden. There is always a way, right? <laughs> Very simple, right? If one is not forbidden, there is always a way. What is that way? What is that way? Of course, print ds. Of course, print ds. And what are those elements basically? Uh, how many elements will you take? You just take n elements, right? For 10, you just take 10 ones. You just print 10 times one here. So one, 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 n times, right? So this is obvious thing, right? This is a very easy observation that you can make. If one was not forbidden, yeah, just take all the ones and make the number n. If one was forbidden, then we'll have to see. Yeah. Right? So I guess you got it. If one was not forbidden, you can always make the, you can always make n. And how do you make it? Just pick one n number of times, right? And now let's consider the case when one was forbidden. Now this is going to be interesting when one is forbidden. Just change the color. So else now one is forbidden. This is going to be interesting. Let's see. So now one is forbidden. So basically x is one, right? X is one. Okay. So one thing is for sure. Let's say uh, we know that k goes from one till n, right? So k goes from one till n. If x is one and k is one, then anyway you can never make it possible, right? So So what I'm saying is, uh, if you are only allowed to pick elements in this range, and you are just removing one from it, you can never make n, right? So what is k? K is specifying the upper bound on the integers that you can pick. You can pick integers from one to k, one to k minus x. But what I'm saying is, if one is forbidden and only allowed integer that you had was one, you can never make it, right? So here you can just write, if k is equal equals to one, that is, now one is forbidden. And the only allowed integer you had was one, then anyway it will be no. You cannot do it, right? The only allowed integer you had was one, and uh, you are not allowed to take it. So anyway, you cannot, you cannot make it. Simple observation, right? Other, again, a simple observation. Now, okay. So, what cases we have we figured out? What cases have we figured out? We have figured out the case where x is not equals to one, right? So x is not equals to one. That is, if one is not forbidden, it is always possible. Now, I am talking about this case when one is forbidden. Now, if one is forbidden and only allowed integers you had, only only allowed integer you had was one, then definitely it is not possible. Now, what is the case that is remaining? What is the case that is remaining? The case that is remaining is one is still forbidden, but k is greater than equals to b. K is greater than equals to b. K is greater than equals to b. Right. So that's what you have. Now, k is greater than equals to b, right? So basically, you had one to k, and this k is greater than equals to b. All right. So that says one thing here. You have two. Always at your disposal. You always have two at your disposal. So what does this say? You can always make even elements, right? So if one is forbidden, if one is forbidden and k is greater than equals to two, you always have two at your disposal. Okay? See guys, we have considered about these cases and we are only left with this case now. X equals to one, k, k greater than equals to two. So I am only thinking about this case, right? So this is how you actually approach a CP question. Figure out the cases and forget about it. Now don't think about these cases. Now we are continuously focusing on this. Only focusing on this case. One is forbidden and k is greater than equals to two. So I know. Uh, I have, I always have two at my disposal, right? I always have two at my disposal, so you can always make even elements. Right? You can always make even elements. So if you have, if let's say n is even, if n is even, you can always make it, right? You can always make it. Yes. And how many elements you are going to pick? N by two, right? N by two. So for example, let's say you had to make ten, you are going to pick ten by two five times two, right? So n by two, and you are just going to print two. N by two times. That's not a big deal here, right? So yeah, cool. So if you had even element, so if one was forbidden and k is greater than equals to two, you can always make even element because you always have two at your disposal. Now one last thing, when n is odd, this is the last case that we need to figure out here, right? So we have broken down our problem again. This problem we broke down into two parts. When n was even, when n was even, and n was odd. Okay. So we figured out the case for n was even. N is even. N is always possible. Now let's consider this case. Now this will be. Now uh, this should I I should write it uh, like 
yeah so let's just uh, write here one more case the last case so i should maybe write it at else if right yeah else if so these are three cases basically cool so this is fine so basically what i'm saying is if one is forbidden then either you can have this or you can have this or now the last part so else part right else part what is this else part when n is odd basically this else part is when n is odd now let's see this is very interesting when can you make it okay okay let's deal with the case when n is odd so we are concerned about this case x is 1 1 is forbidden case greater than equals to 2 and now n is odd now n is odd okay so when can you make it like what is the odd number by the way <laughs> first of all uh, let's uh, see what is the odd number odd number let's say you have 11 you have 13 you have 7 what are this all these numbers can be represented in this form right 2p plus 1 but you know we don't have 1 we don't have 1 so you can also represent it as 2p minus 1 you can also represent it like the similar way 2p minus 1 plus 3 right okay so if you don't if you don't want to think about the formula think like this this 11 can be represented as 2 into 5 plus 1 right this 11 can be represented as 2 into 5 plus 1 in the same manner this can also be represented as 2 into 4 plus 3 right this 13 can be represented as 2 into 6 plus 1 it can also be represented as 2 into 5 plus 3 the 7 can be represented as 2 into 3 plus 1 but it can also be represented as 2 into 2 plus 3 right so you can actually represent odd numbers if we have 3 also right you need to have 3 then right you need to have, if you have 3 you can represent odd numbers how do you represent the odd numbers this formula 2 into p minus 1 plus 3 and what is this formula basically what is this p by the way uh, this p what is this p this p is nothing but n by 2 right this 7 by 2 this 13 by 2 this 11 by 2 you can always represent odd numbers in this way also 2 into n by 2 plus 3 see guys i don't remember all these formulas i just come up with them all on the fly okay it's not like that uh, i remember this formula in my head okay if you want to make odd numbers you can do either 2p plus 1 or 2p uh, 2p minus 1 plus 3 i don't remember all this i just try to think what i tried to think is i had to make odd numbers right i i had to make odd numbers when one was not available to me since one is not available to me i need to find other way if one was available this was the way but if one is not available i can make odd numbers if i have three at my disposal right in a similar manner, can you make 3 here? Can you make 3 here? Let's see. Can you make 3? You can actually make 3, right? It's actually 2 into 0 plus 3. Uh, 2 into 0 plus 3. Yeah, you can do it. Okay. Not 2. Yeah, 2 into 0 into 3, right? 2 into 0 into 3. How do you come up with 0? The 0 is nothing but uh, 3 by 2 minus 1. Right? So, that's that. So, this was the last case that we had to figure out. So, this is only possible. If n is odd, it is only possible if you had a 3 at your disposal k has to be greater than equals to 3 then it is possible how is it possible we are going to print n minus 2 minus 1 times 2 ok we are going to print n minus 1 times 2 and 1 time 3 this is how it is possible right so i just show you how how it is possible so the code is uh, i guess done here else anyway no else anyway no it is not possible right so let me summarize the question for you a lot happened here now the first thing is if one is not forbidden you can always make it you can always make it just print n times and the job is done now if one is forbidden if one is forbidden then, and you only had one at your disposal you cannot make the element you cannot make n so no now let's come to the last case this was the case that we that was left one is forbidden but case greater than equals to two now in this case there was the case where either n was even or n was odd if n was even i can always make it n by two times two but what if n was odd what if n was odd then what are you gonna do so i found out I can actually make odd numbers using 3 as well, right? By printing n minus 2 times 2 and 1 times 3. So what it says is you need 3 at your disposal. You need 3 at your disposal. 1 is not there, but you then you need 3 at your disposal to print it. n minus 2 n by 2 minus 1 times 2 and 1 times 3. You can do it, else no. So yeah, uh, that is the explanation. Okay. So again, I went a bit too deep because what I wanted you to learn here is don't remember all this stuff. But when time comes, you should be able to derive this stuff. That is the beauty of number theory. That is the beauty of number theory. You know, even numbers are 2p plus 1. But who is stopping you to represent it like 2p minus 1 plus 3? Right? And let me tell you, this pattern repeats a lot when you want to form odd numbers with 3. So, this is how you do it basically. Uh, so, anyway, I had to write here minus 1, right? So, yeah, I guess you already figured out. So, this had to be 
2 into n by 2 minus 1. This you might have already figured out 2 into n by 2 minus 1 that you need to do it. So, this is how you do it basically. So, yeah, that is that. Uh, I guess I have discussed everything I have to discuss. So, let us just quickly code it up. All right, then uh, let us quickly code it up. So, what is the input here? We have n, k, n, x, right? So, I am just going to take the input. Now, what is the argument? Uh, if 1 was not forbidden, if x was not forbidden, if x was not forbidden, okay, it has to be 1, right? So, if x was not, uh, basically, if 1 was not forbidden, there is always a way. There is always a way. So, just print yes, put a new line. And now, I have to print how many number of uh, ones I am going to take. So, basically, it should be n. Just pick uh, n times, basically, right? So, pick one uh, n number of times and uh, followed by new line. And I am going to print one n number of times. So, print i equals to 0, i less than n, plus plus, and uh, c out 1, followed by space. And I have to print new line here. Cool. So, if one was not formed, there is always a way. What does that mean? Just print n, m, m, n times 1. So, this is like I am going to take n times 1 and my job is done. Now, if 1 is forbidden, now this is the case when 1 is forbidden. Right? So, this is the case when 1 is forbidden. Now, in this case, if 1 was the only element at your disposal, then anyway it is not possible. Then it is not possible, right? If 1 was the only element at your disposal, then it is not possible. Else. Else. Now, what is this case? Uh, what is this case? This is a case when k is greater than or equals to b, right? So, this is a case when k is greater than or equals to b. Now, in this case, when k is greater than equals to 2, when can you do it actually? When can you do it? When can you do it? You can do it. You can actually do it. If even elements, if n is even, you can always do it. If n is even, you can always do it. If n is even, you can always do it. And how do you do it? See out. Maybe I should just turn off this pilot. This is very distracting. But anyway, if n is even, you can always do it. So, see out. Uh, how, many, how many times? Just pick n by 2 times 2. So, then print n by 2 times 2 and uh, see out new line. Right? But if n is odd then, if n is odd then, then what are you going to do? n is odd, then let us see. If n is odd then what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. So, here in this case, if k is greater than equals to 3, k is greater than equals to 3, then we can do it. Then we can do it. Right? So, then you can always do it. And that is what we need to print here. right? Uh, yeah, we have to print 2, n by 2 times, right? we have to print 2. Uh, n by 2 minus 1 time actually, right? So, we have to print 2 n by 2 minus 1 time and uh, that is that basically we have to print n by 2 minus 1 times 2. So, this should be actually n by 2 only. If I am not wrong. Yeah. You have to pick it. So, in the end you are picking n by 2 minus 1 times 2 and 1 times 3. So, the answer should be n by 2 only. So, maybe you can combine these two conditions if I am not mistaken. But this is the general case I took. So, yeah, so let me just quickly summarize what I did. If 1 was not forbidden, it is always possible. Just print n times 1. Okay. Otherwise, if 1 was the only element at disposal, it is never possible. Now, let us talk about the case when k is greater than equals to 2. If even numbers are there, it is always possible. Just put n by 2 times 2 and your job is done. Otherwise, in case of odd numbers, you should have 3 at your disposal. If you have 3 at your disposal, then you, ha you have to print n by 2 minus 1 times 2, n by 2 minus 1 times 2 and followed by 3. Okay, followed by 3. So, yeah, I should... Otherwise, you can never have it. Just print no. Just quickly run it. So, see if it works. So, here is the test case. Let us see. So, here n is 10 and 1 was not forbidden. And anyway, you can get 10 times 1. Let us come here. Uh, Let us come here. You had only 1 and 2. You only had you had 1 and 2. And now 1 is forbidden. Then you cannot make an odd element. You cannot make an odd element with 2. Right? You need 3. That is why no is printed. Go to 1 here. So, let us say you had only 2 elements. 1, 2 and 1 was forbidden. You can make it. Yes. You can make it. Just 2 times 2. Right? You can do it. 7, 7, 3. So, 7, 7, 3. So, basically, we had elements from 1 till 7. You had elements from 1 to 1 till 7 and 3 was forbidden. Anyway, 7 times 1. Very easy, right? And 6, 1, 1. This is not possible, right? Because you had only 1 at your disposal and 1 is forbidden. So, it is not possible. So, yeah. I guess uh, the solution is working. So, that is that. Uh, I do not have anything much to discuss in this video. Maybe I can just submit the code and show you. Yeah, it works. So, alright then. Uh, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.